Hello, I'm Katherine Jeff Coat, owner and founder of Portland Pediatric Nutrition. Today I want to speak with you about one of my pet peeves, and I heard it recently on a local news program from a person who referred to herself as a nutritionist, and that pet peeve is when people compare soda pop to chocolate milk, as them both being equally bad for children, as in how much sugar they have. Yes, sugar is something we need to be aware of. The dietary guidelines recommend 10% or less of our total calories from sugar. That adds up quickly. For a child that's 8 to 10 years old, that is, they have 16 to 1800 calories, that's about 40 to 45 grams, 10 to 11 teaspoon. So yes, when you look at soda pop, not good. This soda pop, 65 grams of sugar in it. And we can read that on the food label. It's all sugar. There's nothing else in this. It's sugar. So when you have a young child that has um, that only needs 40 grams or less of sugar a day, having one of these pretty much puts them over their requirement or, or over what's recommended. So when they're drinking chocolate milk, this chocolate milk is said on the food label, 22 grams of sugar. What's important to know about chocolate milk is that we don't include naturally occurring sugar found in milk sugar and fruit sugar. So in this milk there is um, 20, um, 22 grams of total sugar and what's not listed is there's roughly 12 grams of milk sugar in chocolate milk. So what you have is 10 grams of added sugar and this will be a lot easier to determine by July 2018 when the manufacturers will be required to specify and list separately the added sugar. So chocolate milk, 10 grams of sugar, soda pop, 65, and to be more fair, I have a soda that's more that size and um, so size to size, this one's actually 24 grams of sugar and this is 10. So chocolate milk is half the amount of sugar in soda, but, the, but you get the added bonus with protein, calcium, and vitamin D from chocolate milk. So if you do have a child that's 8 to 10 years old and they, they have a, you know, 40 grams or less of sugar is the goal for them. If they have a chocolate milk once in a while, it's okay. It's actually good for their bones, good protein. Um, I let my youngest drink chocolate milk because she doesn't like white milk, so she drinks it once in a while. Um, I keep track of, you know, making sure she's not filling up on other sugary things during the day. So um, do keep that in mind that, sh you know, limiting sugar, I totally support limiting this type of sugar in your child's diet because they just don't need it. Thanks for listening to me, to me today. If you'd like more information on sugar, I have a blog post that can be found on my website. It's all about sugar and how much your child needs. You can find me at portlandpediatricnutrition.com. Thank you.